Aquarius. Why you be leaping these hoes, Delirious Boo? What's going on? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you know what energies are surrounding you for the month of May 2020. Show me the money energy. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Thank you to every last one of you who has clicked this video, and to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed. Okay, listen. We're in here to find out what is going on for May. I want to give a quick big love shout out to my baby Amber who got us this new love oracle deck that we are going to be using. So thank you so much Amber and um, if you guys would like to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click the about tab and send me a message on Instagram or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com but it's better for you to send me a message on Instagram because that's where we're going to be doing the video reading at. Unless you don't have an Instagram then you can use Google Hangouts and use my email which again is scorpionrez at gmail.com all right quick psa i do not use the simply book me uh booking site anymore because i'm locked out i can't figure out how to get in there so um if you have been trying to book with me through that website make sure that you guys send me a message on instagram and everything like that so we can get you all set up and everything could be good to go okay and i do apologize for the inconvenience but I don't know how to get into the website to even see who's booking with me. But I do get the emails letting me know that someone's trying to book with me. I just can't see who. So, um, yes, make sure that you contact me on Instagram, all right? So, um, again, this is the Love Oracle deck that Amber sent over. So just, just in case anyone wants to check this out, this was sent to me on the Amazon wish list. It came in as a surprise yesterday when I came home for work. So thank you so much, Erin. But this is from the same makers of the musical Oracle deck that I've used before on the page. So you guys have probably seen these cards and you're going to be seeing these lovely ones today. So again, thank you to every last one of you guys who these videos resonate and y'all just want to send love and support and stuff like that. Again, you can support through Cash App, PayPal, but I love the Amazon wish list because it comes as a complete surprise to all of us so like thank you again i just want to give a big thanks and shout out to amber so um and a big shout out listen y'all we just got a plethora of new decks can i just do a new deck haul with y'all real quick i'm oh, sorry i is sorry i is sorry but we did just get like a crap load of new decks y'all like hold on y'all so I just got the Druid. Can y'all see this? This is big. The Druid Craft Tarot deck. This is new. We're not going to be using this today. We got the Wild Wood Tarot deck. We got the Wheel of the Year Tarot. This is what we were going to be using today. I got the Crow Tarot deck. And I also got the Dreaming Way Tarot deck. That was all of this stuff is new, you guys. So, like, yes, we're doing big things. And these decks came from Mr. Dennis. So, again, you guys, give Mr. Dennis a big shout out and love as well as, um, Amber, you guys, like, y'all are so freaking amazing. I swear, like, y'all just do me. Y'all do me. So, listen, let's get into the shoe box. And I hope you guys are just receiving unexpected, amazing blessings as well, man. Listen, 2020 ain't as bad as people really seem. It's all about how you taking everything with this energy. So, let's give God praise real quick and just give him thanks for where we're currently standing at at this moment. You know, because we're not in a place of lack. So, Father God, thank you so much for just blessing my Aquarius, Father God, you know. We are just staying just very forthright and just knowledgeable of where we're moving ahead and our steady and just calculated steps, Father God. And we thank you for just allowing us to take this time to sit back and analyze and to just like really demonstrate some safe footing right now you know what i'm saying because people don't be watching where they're stepping people don't be looking where they're going and that's a problem with a lot of people and that's a lot of the problem of things where we went wrong in the first place in the past is because we weren't 
practicing and, and, and demonstrating safe footing. We weren't watching where we were going. You know what I'm saying? We were just going with the flow. Sometimes you can't go with the flow. You got to go with what you know. And you got to educate you before. You got to educate yourself before you go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, Father God, we thank you so much for just placing your hand on us and just allowing us to take an inner moment with ourselves and reminding us to think and pay attention to the direction of where we're going and the careful steps that we're taking, you know? So, because um, don't nobody feel like it have time to go backwards and retrace steps we don't have time to do that you know what i'm saying so father god could continue to push us forward um towards our victory we claiming it all father god and we just thank you so much for just walking hand in hand with us and just giving us you know guidance and you know um you know, just the attention and the nourishment that we need during this time. So give us guidance for the side of Aquarius. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance today for May 2020. Amen. Let's get into her, y'all. Oh, and then I got this video game. I got this game. It's a card game. It's called What Do You Mean? Um, I think I showed y'all it in, like, the last collective reading. I might reach over and just bless y'all and see what type of foolishness comes out of the cards. Because it was so funny the last time I used it, so it just makes me want to use it again. So, let's get into it for Aquarius for May. Give my Aquarius his guidance. What's the overall theme and love for May? Give my Aquarius. Oh, three cards. Okay. Joan Collins. I don't know. Do I want to take all of this? I guess we could do it. All right. We got Joan Collins, Plato, and Cleopatra, honey. What a little mix you got there. What a little mix you got there. Let's see what the heck is going on. Let's see what is going on. So, like... Let me just okay. Now I don't even know who Plato is, but is he like? Do he make these these statues or something like that? He must be some some type of philosopher. I'm feeling like he's some type of philosopher or something like that. That that that's giving me like old school Greek boardroom conversation. Like y'all talking about big business. You know what I'm saying? Around a group of people that are highly respected, like the upper echelon of you know an organization or something like that um joan collins from what i know of her she's a comedian or something like that but she's very beautiful and she's very funny she's very witty and things like that and then you got cleopatra i mean she is just like worldly renowned as one of the one of the strongest like female you know what i'm saying like leaders in the world you know what i'm saying and then you got the cleopatra with the greek right there even the way cleopatra kind of you know with her different skin tone her different cultured ways and just her regalness and her abundance and her affluence within her own you know for it to lure in the um who was she with uh caesar or something wasn't she with caesar or something am i tripping right you know, someone from a whole totally different culture, a whole totally different background to come in and wield to her power and just like, you know, now I'm not getting into all of the bits and pieces of what happened in that relationship. I think it was her and Caesar or Mark Anthony, something like that. It's some little mixed up little story or whatever, but we ain't about to get into all that. Okay? Now listen, now you see how she's sitting there with this book. I read this card before. This says, beauty is power. Get <laughs> beauty is power, so use it rather than lose it. Age is just a number, irrelevant unless it's a vintage wine. Everyone is a potential character for a novel. Bitch, do you understand what I'm saying? Beauty is power. Beauty is power. How someone from a whole totally different 
culture, different skin tone, different ethnicity, different language, you know, all of that. But so regal, so abundant, so mysterious, so beautiful that the Greek gods, the Greek leaders, you know, kind of fell underneath her whim and was lured in by her beauty. And they were intrigued by her wit, by her royalty, by her luxuriousness. You know what I'm saying? By her respect amongst her people, how people, you know, it made them fascinated by her. You know? And there are novels written about Cleopatra. There are books. There are movies. There are, listen, so many things written about this legend. Right? So let's go. Plato. A touch of a lover. Oh, at the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. Love is simply the name for the desire and the pursuit of the whole. The madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. Ooh, child. I'm trying when I'm trying to tell you, you could write a novel about how mysterious and how curious. Listen, what I what I what, what I be saying, Aquarius, why you be leaving them so delirious? You see all of these people right here talking about <laughs> Like, I don't know. I feel like you could really, like, you got so many stories, you could write a book. Like, you could really sit amongst the greats and, like, have banter back and forth with them. Like, you're highly intellectual in that way. You have a certain level of stature with yourself and intrigue where I feel like you're very influential in a way where. You can sit amongst greatness and stories can be written or told about you. That is very fascinating. Oh, this says Cleopatra, when you are conquered, consider who wins. Uh oh, a queen must lead while a wife must follow. Bitch, come on, Cleopatra. Didn't I tell y'all don't fuck with Cleo? <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all? Listen, they followed her. Catch. Ooh, be immortal, not defeated. They still talk. They still write legends. They still teach about her. They still write books about her. People still listen. Every Halloween, there are thousands of people that are in Cleopatra costumes. She is a legend. Even in her death, she's still alive. Do you understand? Baby, when you are conquered, consider who wins. A queen must lead while a wife must follow. She was too much. Mm. <laughs> I hope y'all is catching this goddamn tease, baby. Listen. You are something that they write legends about that you can write a book about. Do you understand? You can sit amongst the high ranking, the high level executives and have very exquisite conversations about trade, about facts, about current events, about money exchange, and just everything. It's something about you and big business. I don't know if y'all are in like, um, it's like after you guys do some type of resourcing, like people come to you. As a resource to like stock stuff like you have like uh, I feel like you guys it's something about trade you have the goods and people want to trade with you or something like that um, I feel like negotiations there's a lot oh the devil bitch oh lord look at her though she wrapped up in a lot of beauty, though. Ooh. Look, she is. Look. Look at that. Look at her, though. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm. I ain't necessarily. Let me check. The Night of Inspiration. 
the magician in the reverse. Y'all, this ain't good, y'all. So what this is basically telling me with this devil card, the knight of inspiration and the magician in the reverse. This is someone that is very much so aware of their beauty and the power that they hold and that it and how much it attributes to the things that are around them and how it can make people do what they you know what this person wants them to do and for them to receive things and, and, and things of that nature. I feel like you I feel like you is someone who is looking to conquer all. You look to conquer all, like every person in this room. It's like you need them to jump to the beck and whim of your attention. It's like you have some type of control over them in some type of way. With this night of inspiration, it's like these people are inspired. Like they move quickly when you call. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you're very aware of your beauty, your mystique, your intellect, and all of the things that you do. And you might not, with that magician in the reverse and the devil... With Cleopatra right here. And with Miss Joan Collins here. Listen. At the touch of a lover. Everyone becomes a poet. So many people are singing songs. Singing praises about how hypnotizing you are. How just like. They run to be engaged with you. Love is the simple Name of the desire in the pursuit of a whole. The devil card is about people's wants, their needs, their addictions. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this woman, whoever this person is, have it be you. You can have this magnetic, hypnotic charm over people with this Cleopatra energy. Um, I feel like it's, I don't feel like it's something that's really, 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 eh, I don't want to say that. It's like, I, I, I want to say it's not like that bad, but it kind of is, though, because it's like this person is very much so aware of what they're doing, and they're not, they're not using their charm, they're not using that shit, the empress. So, again, this is someone that is obsessed with beauty. I feel like someone is obsessed with beauty. They feel like their looks... Is what is going to power them forward. They have like someone might be obsessed with like hair products, um, keeping their nails and stuff um, done, the most up to date fashions. Like you could be a slave to wanting to wear certain fashion labels, and you have to like have your hair done every two weeks. You gotta have Gucci, just like you know, like. You could be a slave to feeling like your beauty makes you feel more superior than other people and you can have a control and manipulation over them because people are alert by this aesthetics that you possess. Like this is someone that can have like a lot of fake shit on. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not even real with that devil in the magician in the reverse it's like when they go home they might peel all it look the hair might come off they might wipe off layers of makeup and shit like that maybe the fucking clothes and shit that they have that shit was stolen it was boosted you know what i'm saying like that type of thing it's like a false aesthetics the magician in the reverse it's like they know when they put on like this or they carry their self or they dress like this or they of stage people in this level that it kind of gives them a certain level of power and things and people run to their beck and call they're the empress you know what i'm saying they demand high quality you know high quality the best you know they expect things to grow um so that's like they like people can't come around them unless they're bearing gifts or you know what i'm saying they are uh like very very impressively clean or you know like this person might be very dictative about how the people come around them like they have to be able to dress and look a certain way or you know like this person can even want to change you if you're not even dressed up to par and things like that like you have to fit the aesthetics the night of emotion in the reverse and this person can be I'm not going to say like shallow, but kind of like shallow, but like, um, yeah, like this person could be a little bit shallow, very material, materialistic. And I feel like, um, 
Because with the magician and the devil in the reverse, and beauty is power, so use it rather than lose it. Like, come on. Age is just a number. So this could be someone that is like older too. Age is irrelevant unless it's vintage wine. Everyone is a potential character for a novel. There could be stories written about you right now. Or just there's just like a lot of people that you have under your beck and whim with this manipulation and stuff. A lot of people that you've mastered the art of love and manipulation. And how to use your beauty to like get people to do what you want and to run behind you. You know, but you still don't give emotion to them. Like you don't have any emotional loyalty to anyone but this queen of, uh, with this cleopatra right here and this magician in the when you are conquered consider who wins it's like if i give people and if i shower people with my emotions that's why i could control these people because i don't give people my emotions do you understand what i'm saying and at the end of the day i have to give my attention to every last one of them so i can't give someone more emotions than i'm giving the other i have a responsibility for for more people this it's not like someone that just loves one person and just gives their no i have an obligation to a whole bunch of people you know what i'm saying so you're not special you know so this is someone that doesn't have a committal heart you know um and this might be a little emotionally strengthening bonds right here growing and seceding in the reverse so what this is basically saying right here is strengthening bonds with this number one right here i feel like this is about self-expression and someone trying to figure out like number one i feel like this person is like already rooted in who they are like they already know who they are and it's like not going to change you know what i'm saying whoever this person is i feel like they bask in this energy right here like they're very well where aware and self-assured and who they are i feel like they feel stronger when they as long as they're strengthening bonds with each one of these people and everything like that and their strong relationships this person says you know they consider themselves the queen someone that's unconquered it's like i have so many different people under my beck and whim and my control this person has a lot of people under their control success and growth is in the reverse this can be someone that is blocking out that third eye chakra like that you know understanding a little bit you know what i'm saying um with this right here in this magician in the reverse it's basically saying that and then with the devil you gotta remember anything that you correlate with the the devil with is only a temporary a, a temporary satisfaction it's not something that's going to be long standing or that is going to literally be successful for you in the long run. Do you understand? So it's like when you use your magic in a manipulative wrong way, as above, so below, what you put out, you always get back in return. Do you understand? So like even though you might have like a part time success real quick, yeah, you got all of these people under your control, but I don't feel like. It will ever grow to the point where you really want it to be with this devil energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got these people under your control, but it might not. You might get some things, but it might not last forever. You know, it might end up being more trouble than what it's worth. Like after a certain amount of time, these four or five people that you got all, all under your control, it might blow out of proportion it might be a little bit hard to handle and these cool collective conversations might turn into banter and argument and competition and chaos you know and maybe this empress energy right here this cleopatra energy this devil energy they might not look at you as so beautiful and strong anymore they may look at you like you're messy you know what i'm saying you're manipulative you're controlling you're abusing us and you're using us for your own personal gain. So it's not going to grow. But this person believes in strengthening bonds as long as with each, I have a different relationship with each one of these different people. I could write a novel about each different situation 
and how that is and why that is. And then I could write a whole different novel about me and how I became to sit on this throne and how and then I could write a whole different novel about how I how to control motherfuckers like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and how I do it's like it's so many it's so many different series of stories that could be written here. Um it's so many different stories that could be written here. Like, it's crazy. Um, and again, you guys, I know that this energy can be you. It could be a person around you. Um, even the Cleopatra energy, it could be um, just saying Cleopatra. But that could be a male that's in this energy right here. You know what I'm saying? So, that could be you being Cleopatra, meaning that, you know... Why be conquered? Who really wins? A queen leads. A wife must follow. So, that might be telling someone that the person that's around you might be in this devil energy and this magician energy in the reverse. And it's time for you to stop being the doting wife and it's time for you to lead and stop following. Whoever this man is, they sit amongst the high echelons, the upper echelons. Okay, the high level executives in regards to this type of energy right here. You could write novels. They all could write novels about their control. It's about strengthening bonds to these people. As long as you strengthen bonds with people, you know, and make them feel beautiful and 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 and, <laughs> so it can always be reversed. Like y'all have to take it how it resonates. But um, the empress knows how to make things grow. She knows how to plant seeds. She knows how to take things and make them beautiful and make it luxurious. You know what I'm saying? She can take an old chair and refurbish it and make it look like something that belongs in the queen's dining room. That's the empress. You know what I'm saying? Everything that she puts her hands on. It turns into something fabulous. Do you understand? Whoever this is has a lot of people with empress-like energy under their beck and call and under their control. They like things to be fabulous, but they don't want to go and make it fabulous. They want other people to do their dirty work for them to make things fabulous. That's why things are temporary, because these people with the talent can go. Then you have to find more talented people to do your dirty work. That's why the magician is in the reverse. There's no true emotion. There's no true love. It's about what the person can gain from you. And that's it. And certain people like this, they get off of how fast they can make people run and jump. And, you know, the hangman in the reverse. And the eight of wands. Okay? So, someone might be receiving some communication here. About, you see how this man, the hangman in the reverse, you see how sometimes when things turn upside down, you can see things right side up. You see how like the ice has started to form around his legs and things like that where he couldn't move out of a situation, was hung up in a situation and was almost about to be frozen solid. That's that devil energy right there. So y'all were in a situation where you felt bound and trapped up under someone's control you know hung up in a situation where things had to go all the way fuck shit upside down in order for you to see just how deeply entrenched you were by this person's beauty by this person's charm and actually how many other people that this person has did this to and you know nothing is growing here but you're the empress like you're the one with the gift you're the one you know what i'm saying you're the one eight of wands Eight of Wands is when, you know, everything that is coming into your life is successful. Everything that is coming into your life is a new reclaimed victory. All this communication is things that is going to support you in your future. You know what I'm saying? But the Eight of Wands comes right after the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is when someone is defending themselves. They are, you know, dealing with gossip, slander, um... You know, 
people trying to just be rude and 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 voice their own voice their own opinions on the decisions that you're making and you feeling like you're having to defend your your decisions and just think just unnecessary shit so something that you were hung up on you're just now receiving messages and communications and it could be from your spirit guide you see how that um uh, bird is coming in i feel like it's something I, feel, I don't know if you guys are just being very close to nature because even like this man he looks like he's out in his garden he's out in his yard tending to his yard work or something like that it's something that you do in regards to tending to yourself and your blessings yes you see how the crops and the flowers and stuff are growing in the back again remember i said the empress someone that plants seeds and that makes them grow and but you see that this is a male so like i said this could be in the reverse even though you are man it could still you could still be in the empress energy you don't understand the empress is a creator you understand it's a creator it's a pillar of life that's what this person does so there's been some communication that's going to come in that is going to release you from this icy cold grip from whoever this was because like i said there was still no love there so it's like they could be dealing with you with ice cold emotions no loyalty no commitment like the communication may be scattered maybe here today and gone tomorrow so you know uh it seems like this communication is going to break through this time and whatever it is that you needed to see or you needed to hear to kind of make a decision and stop this back and forth banter with that seven of wands. I feel like because I feel like there's been some back and forth banter because this is I'm, I'm seeing the eight of wands. But the only thing I'm getting is the seven of wands. I'm getting the seven of wands. You're going to get some communication that's going to get you un hung up off of this bullshit. That's going to get you out of this person's control. Give me guidance. Because it's like whoever this is, is the Empress. The Five of Chalices. Hey, hey, hey. What's under the deck? This is the Princess of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So, the Princess of Pentacles in the reverse means like some bad news in regards to like an investment or some type of financial change or, you know, having to start something all over. Like, you could have um, maybe not educated yourself thoroughly on how to plant your crops and then you try to pull them up out of the ground and everything was rotten. Like, you could have overwatered them or you didn't give it enough sun. You didn't give it enough attention. Like, you didn't do something right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you just have to go back and, like, replan and just, like, figure this shit all out from scratch, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, a lack of studying, a lack of understanding. That's why things are not succeeding. That's why things are not growing. It's like you're not using the energy and the gifts and the resources that you have to create good out of it. And still, like, even the magician in the reverse could be, like, a lack of resources. So, this could be in regards to some type of financial situation right now. Right now, you can have lack of resources and might not know how to pull off... A you might not know how to pull a rabbit out of your hat right now because you might have lack of resources that force you to not believe in your blessings, not believe that you can call forth a better day where you don't believe in your magic because you don't believe that you have everything that you got or you have lack of education or you are not taking your time to plan things out before you go and try to root your magic in the ground, you know? So that's why things are not succeeding and things like that. So I really do feel like someone may need to go back to school. They might need higher learning education in order to get things to thoroughly root in the ground. Because I feel like this is some... Um, this could be a denial for a loan or denial for some type of public assistance or something like that. 
this is a letter about access not being granted. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the magician in the reverse. It's like you don't have the resources or someone knows that you are doing something manipulative. You're trying to be a trickster. So this could be someone that, okay, like say right now they're giving out um, resources for the, 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 the stimulus or... Uh, because of COVID or something, and you could apply for some type of assistant loan or something like, look, try to do a, a, a Arkansas mode. Who's that, Carly Red, uh, uh, ex husband or whatever? Try to do an Arkansas mode, try to put in a fraudulent application saying, oh, I'm a business owner. I got this many employees. I need this and this and this and that of money. Trying to get relief funds and shit. But you're lying. You're being tricky. You're being manipulative and everything. That seed, that wish that you planted, it's not going to grow. Because you ain't thoroughly think that shit out. And for some reason, you thought that your tricks and shit was going to help you and you was going to get away. But you, you get denied for it bad news you know what i'm saying like someone is up on you and it's not going to grow it's not going to grow so if someone has been trying to trick you this is basically someone getting some information and informing them that i'm not hung up on this shit no more i see you for exactly who you are you know so let me tell you off real quick let me send you some thorough communication so you can stop what you're doing and um, look at things from the way I'm looking at it. Okay? Because before, you were all hung upside down and things like that. Like, this is someone that could have had rose-colored glasses on and didn't want to see things for what it needed to be. The hangman is a moment of seclusion where you had to be by yourself to really think things true through to get some perspective because someone kept running willingly running to whoever this is beck and call and not realizing that this but this devil energy like this person was manipulating and controlling the fuck out of you god had to sit you aside and show you that you're the inch that you're the empress and maybe that you're not the only one that this person has been strengthening bonds with this person is not really showing you any type of love or or emotions. This person is a trickster. This person is a scam artist. This person is a con man. This person is trying to con. And that's why this access has been not denied. That's why things are not growing. The five of challenges. That the five of challenges. This is someone that is like surprised at something. It's like I'm shocked. Like I'm hurt. I can't believe that you would do this. Like I'm devastated. Like emotional mourning like not being able to like get their emotions to get this could be someone crying this could be someone like trying to overcome some type of emotional challenge because something didn't go their way like i said someone got some bad news someone found out that they were a cheapskate or they were trying to trick them out of some money or something that <laughs> their emotional needs was not going to be met it's no point of me keep running there Someone kept running after someone that was trying to manipulate them and had them under their control. Do you understand what I'm saying? And do you see, it looks like God knocked all of the cups down. Typically, in this card, it's three cards standing up and it's two cards in the back where you could turn around and look at something greater. God knocked every single last goddamn cup down. I, they keep saying... Something about some there's some song where they're saying something something hard to manipulate minds something 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 I guess busy with minds what song is that is that get money get money what you say huh get money ask us in you ain't us and manipulate minds something something uh, uh, I guess busy with minds I think that's is that Biggie? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what they're saying to me. Something about hearts and manipulate minds. This motherfucker saying, yeah, I get busy with minds. <laughs> like, whoever the fuck this is. Like, you can... Beauty is power. They're using it rather than using it. Age is just a number. It's irrelevant unless it's a vintage wine. Everyone is a potential character for a novel. Hmm. Let's get into this. Let's get this last break going on. And if you want to find out what you mean. I really do feel like, I don't know if this is the Aquarius. 
that is doing this to someone or if this is someone that has done this to the Aquarius and God is showing the Aquarius that baby you're the emperor you're the emperor or you're the empress you know what I'm saying like you make things grow you make things shine you don't need to continue to defend yourself. You don't need to continue to communicate and listen to people's petty arguments. Because the Eight of Wands in the upright, it means like positive information coming in, like things coming in fast. Like even like it could be something that's unexpected as well. Unexpected, fast communication, something that you really didn't expect. Like you could have put a request out. And like in 10 minutes, you got approved for you like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know you was going to like get back to me that motherfucker quick, you know? But um, in this one, it looks like someone is not getting approved for something. What's the outcome of this situation? Someone is realizing that they were just part of a plan. You were just a pawn in a part of the plan. This person needed you and these people to move something for them. But now I'm getting some street shit. Like, oh my God. Now I'm getting some street shit. This could have possibly been like. Now they're trying to say like a queen pen or some shit like that. But on some real ass shit. And it's like, but I know females. I know females that. I'm going to give you an example. Say she work in a pharmacy, right? Right? She's very beautiful. She's very high ranking in her situation. You know what I'm saying? She might be a manager, a leader or something like that. Where, you know... She can something, something hard to manipulate minds. Whatever they saying in the middle, she gets busy. I like, gets busy with minds. You know what I'm saying? She could have had these people moving shit for her. Control, manipulation, tricks, scams. I feel like. She don't get her hands dirty. She get these people to do the shit for her. As long look, she continues to walk and flourish or walk into the sunset as long as she's rooted in strengthening bonds with people because she likes a lot of fabulous things. Like this could be like a female that's into like some type of um some type of fast lifestyle. Like she just someone that lives the fast life. They live a very uh risque life with a lot of excitement and a lot of danger or something like that do you understand um like i said like everything this person got on could be stolen and like even like this person may look real fabulous but you don't really know what this person is doing to make money like this person could be she could work in a pharmacy and could be stealing drugs and stuff and be having the dudes that she knows sell the drugs for her but the whole time like she the real boss because they ain't selling this shit for her. And she don't really care about these people at all, you know? And there could have been somebody that was very hung up under this person's manipulation. And some communication. Some communication comes in very quickly. That I, I don't feel like very fast. Like the night of inspiration. Something comes in fast. Something very, very fast. Something very fast where it's going to change everything. Everything is going to come crumbling down where I don't feel like this woman is going to be able to catch herself because it's going to be the last thing that she expected for everything. All of the cups. So I don't know if everything comes falling down on this person at all four of these men. I don't know if they all walk away because... They don't want to be under this person's emotional control or something. But I feel like this woman is devastated that everything just goes falling down. And people are not as hung up on some type of control. Remember, this is this is the princess of pentacles in the reverse. 
It's something that's going to fuck up her finances. Give me guidance. What's going on? Oh, fuck. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Off the break, chattering. The seven and diamonds. <laughs> All right. So the seven of diamonds is when the seven of diamonds is basically when um there's a there, there's a tough little situation going on, right? And someone is literally having to use their intellect to like really really think something out and trying to gauge and try to figure out their next move being their best move. Do you understand what I'm saying? Chattering the bird up there you see a cage bird so it could be a cage bird it could be some gossip there be there could be some communication amongst the elders the big dogs about um someone possibly plotting and then the seven of diamonds also could mean like uh a lump sum of money you know like a decent lump sum of money so there could be a bird that's caged in right now and it could be someone that's trying to steal a lump sum of money or something like that. Again, the present. The present. And this is the nine of clubs. So the nine of clubs can mean like... The nine of clubs can mean someone like showing up in the best way possible in regards to having to protect their resources or being in a stable work environment. Like, you know, like really, really showing up at work and really protecting your rep, your rep, um, what am I trying to say? Your representation and your reputation and things like that. Um, you could be showering people with gifts or someone could be giving you a gift for a job well done and giving you some type of work recognition this has something to do with hard work so i don't know if people are talking about like a lump sum of money and gifts that you've been receiving or something while somebody is caged in i feel like someone is talking about some gifts that someone has been receiving because of someone's job, because of what someone does. It's like. You got the number nine twice and then the number two. So the number two, it's like duality balance, like someone using their intuition. You know what I'm saying? Like making a choice almost so i feel like it's like someone needs to make a decision and see like someone keeps going through cycles with this number nine here do you understand and it's like being political being political like really using your intellect like the numbers i mean the diamonds represent higher learning higher education spiritual awareness do you understand what i'm saying so it's like these people could be talking it's like i don't know like this person isn't allowed to go nowhere. This person isn't allowed to spend their money. It could be someone that is just lurking around to take advantage of someone else's hard work. You know what I'm saying? Or their money. And this person is locked in, caged in, can't go nowhere while someone else is like plotting on someone's money. And people are like talking about it. It's like this person works so hard. And the only thing this other person does is take their money and they keep going through cycles with this person. What is this? Inconsistency. The six of spades. They're saying that it's inconsistent. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Now they're saying like where all these gifts come from? Where is this money coming from? Where is this lump sum of money coming from? I feel like there's someone locked away that is keep that there, there, there someone is locked away. I feel like someone else is like trying to siphon and receive their gifts and their money or something. And it's like things are inconsistent. This the six of spades represents death. It represents an ending because there's an inconsistency. Things are not balanced. Things are not making sense. You know what I'm saying? Things are not making sense. It's like, you know. Excuse me, I gotta see. It's like someone can't keep getting away with. It's like something keeps happening. 
I don't know if it's like you're giving away your gifts or someone is stealing your gifts. What is this? Some money. I'm trying to tell you this has to do with some money. It's like. <clears throat> this has to do with some money being inconsistent. Like shit is not adding up. Do you understand? Shit is not ever adding up. And then you got the seven of clubs. This has something to do with someone's work. Someone's earning, someone's money, something being inconsistent. Someone scamming, scheming, trying to like hide some money. Y'all, hold on. Let me just verify. Because let me just verify. Let me go on here and just verify the seven of diamonds. So the seven of diamonds means a financial achievement, a, a reward and recognition, earned success, steady improvements, efforts, rewarded, lucky money, win, pay raise, improved prospects, a nest eggs, financial investments, stocks, e-trading. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like people are gossiping over someone's money and someone's being locked away. Someone is not. Remember, this is under the devil right there. The devil means someone being bound, trapped, not able to see, not able to move not able to grow do you understand what i'm saying the seven of fucking clubs bruh like I, <laughs> the seven of clubs is increasing activity or change in physical business or social situations like i'm saying there's been an increase in something that someone being recognized is someone listen gaining some money they're getting something but something is inconsistent something is not adding up and people are talking about that. It says physical or mental effort, including yard work, housework. Remember, didn't I tell you this person was out there doing work, yard work? It's like they're not so hung up on this shit no more. Because it, it's like the same thing you're doing to me, you're doing to other people. And it's like you got to hope. It's me, you. It, it, no, it's me, this person, and this person, and this person. It's like... You've been siphoning everyone's money and manipulating everybody. Something, something hard to manipulate minds. Da, 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 da. I get busy with mine. I got to figure out what song that is with Lyra and with the whole, with the parties that I'm missing. What it's saying. Oh my goodness. But it says attention to detail. Carefully evaluating the situation before making the decision. Like I'm saying, someone is like, hold on. Some shit is inconsistent. I done been working hard. I've been doing all of this stuff. Like, I done been having all of this money coming in. Why is this shit not consistent? It's not, you know what I'm saying? Keeping busy. Risk of work overload. The need to rest and re relax. Preoccupied with work. This is a card of a workaholic. Negotiations. Disagreements and arguing. I'm arguing and feelings of restlessness, discomfort, taking on too much, making the best of a difficult situation. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like you working your ass off, trying to, having to keep giving, bearing gifts. It's like all your hard work, money and stuff like that. Like someone, someone is getting, let me charge my damn thing in. I don't know if someone is like try to scam and take someone's stimulus check. All their hard work money is like missing or something. The six of spades, that's most definitely the death card. That that is listen, the six of spades traditionally a card of completion, the end of one phase and the beginning of the next. A permanent ending, a situation or a relationship that has run its course. The need to let go, releasing what no longer serves, parting ways, moving on, something new, making progress, a move, a force, a move to a new residence, a mode of transportation, a car, a truck, a bus, a train. Moving on. This money card right here, this money, like I'm trying to tell you, like shit, shit got to change. Because even... The seven card, it represents like being withdrawn. You understand? Like secluding yourself. So that's like that hangman card. Like being secluded so you can think about shit. You understand? The seven of clubs. I already read the seven of clubs. I already read the seven of clubs. The nine of clubs. Traditionally a card of luck, travel, achievement. 
luck in business, a luxurious business opportunity, a lucky break, or a successful career move represents time and space, distance, or someone or something far away, a long duration, uh, something that lasts a long time. Surrounded by space, these cards can denote postponement postponements and long delays also a card of travel from notions of time and distance this card can represent a journey of business or for pleasure it could also represent emotional a psychological or spiritual journey or a quest for yourself what is this oh my god now they're saying on oh god reconciliation the five of diamonds is being like someone that is already spiritually aware. It's like, I know what I got from this situation the last time. So, again, I'm really getting here like someone was working very hard. I feel like for someone else to manipulate them and take their resources. And it's like, I don't know if this person was stealing from you. I don't know if you were willingly giving the, these people your hard work and money while they're sitting back like fat racks and they're not just getting resources from you they have you under their control and a few other people under their control and i feel like you're realizing that right now listen you see these five cups it's not just you it's you and several other people that this person has done this too do you understand and some information came in to make you stop fucking working quickly quickly because it's like who the fuck am i working for like this person don't even fucking it even like the pants is being cold i don't know if like they're frigid like their pants don't come off it's like you could be doing this for someone that is not giving you any sex or any emotions but just constantly chilling out some shit like that and right now you're on guard it's like I've, it's like you you might be overthinking Right now, it's like, do I really want to be controlled like this? Do I really feel like I should be in a situation or surrounded by someone where I'm having to come and be armed and protected before I can commu communicate with this person? So it's like, I feel like you're going to strap up and protect yourself before you have a, com a, a conversation with someone. I feel like you might be telling someone, again, access denied. Like, you can't have any more of my money. I can't fund this project anymore i'm not going to continue look this is not going to lead me to success and growth like you're lying to me you've been trying to manipulate me you've been trying to use me you've been trying to say that you don't have this and you don't have that and i've been working my ass off i've been giving you money every time that you tell me that you need something i run and i jump to you and i find out that you got other people doing the same shit so you no 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 no, no, no. i'm good this, re this reconciliation is being met with the sword. You know? You realize that you might have been shaking hands with the devil right there. This connection might not have been what I thought it is. I might be regretting it. I might be a little sad about this. I might be a little shocked at your behavior. And that you would try to manipulate me like this. Listen, the consultant... So the consultant right here is like you going to a financial advisor, you going to someone that uh, is very, very, uh, what do I mean? Like a consultant is someone like that has a very high level of education, someone that is very smart, someone that has been through many situations like this before. Like they might be going to consult a lawyer or something like that. What is this? Impediment. This is the eight of diamonds. So whoever this is, it's like, again, this person might be going to a financial advisor right now to go through their books, their financial books, to see how everything has been breaking down. They might be getting an itemized um, print out of all of the outgoing and incoming assets and things like that you might be having someone else look over this money in the contract this represents like a contract between more than two people you know what i'm saying or a contract between two people where someone else is looking over everything to make sure everything is good it's like this person has fucked me before or I've seen this person fuck people before so I'm not about to just easily shake hands with the devil because I've seen before 
what this person has done or I'm realizing right now what this person has done and this person has already spent enough of my money the eight of diamonds is telling you to watch your spending watch your resources watch how much you're giving to people before it's all fucking gone do you understand have a consultant look over this before you shake hands with this person and you make this agreement and you decide to let just anybody back into your life because with this devil this person is manipulative this person is controlling this person wants you get into once you allow them to come into your life they might not allow you to get away do you understand they may lock you up and siphon in all your resources and, and shake hands and act like they're making negotiation deals for you whole time they don't even know you somewhere where people can't even get to you why do I, why do I feel like people been signing for people's checks people been like falsifying documents like someone has been like really doing something has been taking someone else's hard earned money it's, it's something like that Tell me what you mean. So these are the what do you mean cards. It's from a game. What do you mean? So I'm about to use these on y'all. We about to get up out of here. But yeah. They were manipulating you and everybody else into this thing. They've been using their beauty. They've been using their skills and manipulation tactics to their advantage. Someone is getting some... Information that's serving as a damn wake up call, that's for sure. Bible God, what do you mean? What do you mean by this situation? What do you mean? Mm. So, again, whoever this person is, is very manipulative very manipulative and they've been sitting back like a fat rat sipping back sitting back sipping watching all the money roll in watching everybody working like a racehorse and coming to bring them all of this stuff they're telling lies and again they're sitting back like a fat rat while other people work and do their dirty work for them and if this has anything to do with any street shit, like, you might need to watch this person because if they, like, this motherfucker is, like, goddamn Takashi 6 9 because when the police come knocking, this motherfucker gonna sit back and watch all of y'all get arrested because they ain't get their hands dirty. They allowed all of y'all to do this shit. Y'all fell under this person's charm, manipulation, their beauty. Okay? So y'all watch this, y'all, because I really do feel like this, like this person is sneaky, the devil. Making negotiations with the fucking devil. Five of diamonds. Let me tell y'all exactly what the hell that means real quick. And then we about to get up out of here, y'all. Five of diamonds. It's a card. Hold on. That's not even a diamonds. Hold on. Five of diamonds represents karmic patterns. Karma patterns, cause and effect, magnetic attraction, the law of attraction, thoughts that create experience, charisma, animal magnetism, sexuality. Y'all already know what this is. Someone being lured in. Okay? Sexual addictions. Listen. <laughs> It means personal space, a local area, a home, an environment, furniture, a large personal possession, a property, speech, the act of speaking, an argument, a legal judgment or a court case, city life. Remember, I told you, this is someone looking over something. This means a small sum of money, a payment. Financial growth, partial success, partial effort, part-time work, scattered energy, on again, off again. Preservance is needed for success. Lack of focus or commitment. In relationship readings, it shows fickleness and changeability. Listen, the eight of diamonds. Caution. Careful planning. Remember, this card means impediment. Okay? Watch who you be consulting with, who you be negotiating with. Have someone else look over this because it's somebody you shouldn't trust and just be giving all your hard work and your money to this person. This per Listen, 
caution, careful planning, balancing the books, financial restriction, the need to curtail spending, ups and downs in financial and money management, cycling money, tax planning, numbers and counseling, a person wearing glasses, watchfulness, the eyes, watch your resources, watch what you're doing. Do you understand? As fast as it comes in, it can easily be gone. In my other deck, this card is like a broken mirror. Bad luck. Do you understand what I'm saying? Watch what the fuck you're doing. Pay attention. Have someone else look over this. You understand what I'm saying? It's like little small sums of money is just like coming up missing. Do you understand? Karmic patterns. You have seen this person do this before. Listen, people are talking about your money. This means money. They're talking about money. Money. How much you're giving. After you done work so fucking hard. Like this is your personal success. This is your personal earnings. The devil. I'm trying to tell you. The eight. What is this? The six of goddamn spades. That shit need to end. It need to end. This is about your money. Y'all need to watch this shit. Watch this motherfucker. Watch this motherfucker. Y'all, I'm done. I love you. I love you. Listen. Listen, look at the bottom of this deck. Look, this is this is fine. Look at this motherfucker. Just sit there acting like it's okay while the house is burning around him. Like, oh yeah, no, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm just gonna keep working. I'm just gonna keep giving. Y'all keep on. I'm didn't I tell you that this motherfucker gonna sit back and watch everybody fall? And you just going to sit there and going to keep being loyal to somebody. I'm trying to tell you, do not trust this person. Anyway, I got to go. Bye. I love y'all. Y'all click the like button if this video resonated. Peace.